don't know, I also got my channel to do much well. And as well, you know, to much well as you know, my channel here on YouTube, on Facebook, and on TikTok. Basically, what I do is to help children start preparing for the exams on the use of English and communication. Then I want us to learn about stress. I bet you already know stress is one of the topics I'm going to answer questions on, on the use of English. So we're going to learn about stress. We're going to learn how to identify the stress level in a word. You already know that a stress level is the level that is louder than the rest of the sea levels. Is the sea level that is pronounced with a higher pitch than the rest of the sea levels. What we're going to do in this video is to learn how to identify the sea level that has the primary stress in a word. Now, the basic thing that we need to know before we learn how to identify a stress level in a word is to understand how to identify a root word. A root word. You need to understand how to identify a root word. And a root word is the basic word of a word. Is the basic word of a word. Is a word from which other words are formed. For example, the word unhappy has its root word as happy. It's from happy that you have or happy. And that is added to happy is a prefix. Okay? Now the word hospitalization hospitalization has its root word as hospitalize hospitalize that's the root word of hospitalization please you cannot say that the root word of hospitalization is hospital because hospitalization is formed from the word hospitalize and hospitalize is formed from the word hospital so hospital is the root word of hospitalize while hospitalize is the root word of hospitalization okay now, have you understood how to identify a root word? The next thing we should learn is how to identify two syllable words. Two syllable words or bisyllable words. Two syllable words like the word happy has ha pe. Ha pe. It has two syllables. Now, if a word has two syllables and you want to find out the one that has a primary stress, what you should do is to check. If the word is a verb or a noun or an adjective or a preposition. Now, if the word is a noun or an adjective, the stress will always go to the first syllable. And if it's a verb or a preposition, the stress will go to the second syllable. If the word is a noun or an adjective, like I said, it should go to the first level. Except when the first level is a preface, because we do not stress a preface. Or has a sure sound. For example, for example, the word unsure. Unsure. Unsure has two syllables, un and sure. Un and sure. It has two syllables. You, you cannot stress on um because it's a preface. Now the word teacher. Teacher has two syllables. Teacher. It has two syllables. T and chur. Two syllables and is a noun. Is a noun. Is the name of a profession. So you're going to stress the first syllable because it's not a prefix. It's not a prefix. It's not a word that's added to another word to modify the meaning. It's not a prefix, and it doesn't have a sure sound. The word and it doesn't have a sure sound. The word nation, nation. Nation does not have a sure sound. What we have here is nation. Nation. It doesn't have a sure sound. So you stress the first level of nation because it doesn't have a, a sure sound and is a noun. Okay. So you stress the first level of a two syllable word that is a noun, except when the first level is a prefix or a sure sound. And you stress the second syllable of a word that is a verb or a preposition, except if the second syllable of the preposition of the verb is a sure sound, is a sure sound or a suffix. So you do not stress affixes, you do not stress sure sounds wherever they occur in a word. Now let's say for example, research, employ, recruit, before, towards, towards, now, the word research, is there a verb or a noun? It's a verb. So, when we talk about research, it shows action. It shows that you want to do something, right? 
So the word you said is a verb. So we're going to stress the second syllable. Research, research, employ is a verb. We also stress the second syllable. Um, recruit is a verb. All these words are action words. They are words that show action. Recruit is a verb. We stress the second syllable. Before is a preposition. And we're going to stress the second syllable. Towards is a preposition. We stress the second syllable. Now, this is basic towards understanding how to stress polysyllable words. Polysyllable words. When you learn how to stress polysyllable words, you need to first learn how to stress the root words because some of those polysyllable words that have five syllables, six syllables, ten syllables all come from a root word. I need to know how to stress the root word. And most of other syllables that are being added to the root word are prefaces and suffixes, and they are not stressed. So, you not stress affixes no matter where they occur in a word. I do not stress sure sounds. The basic thing is to learn how to stress the root word, which I believe you've understood now. You stress a noun at the first level. You stress an adjective at the first level. That is if it has two syllables. You stress a verb at the second syllable. You stress um, a preposition at the second syllable if they have two syllables, except when the noun or adjective has a short sound or preface in the first level, or when the verb or preposition has a short sound or a suffix at the second syllable. So that's how to stress two syllable words. Now let's answer a question from the past questions, jump past questions. Now let's answer a question from 2008 past questions. We have in question 98, xenophobia. Xenophobia, we have option A, um, the stress on XE. Option B, the stress is on NO. And C, we have the stress on PHO. And D, we have the stress on BIA. So which one is the correct answer? Like I told you, most of these long words are formed from affixes, prefixes, and suffixes. Mm -hmm. What you should just look out for is the root word, the root word of the long word. Now, this word, this word has about four syllables. It has four syllables. Which of the syllables has the primary stress? Well, what you should do is to look for the root word. And the root word in this word is phobia. Phobia. This zeno. Zeno is a prefix that is being added to phobia to modify the meaning of phobia. When you talk about xenophobia, phobia simply means a strong feeling of dislike or, or fear of other people from other countries. So this Zeno is being added to phobia to modify the meaning of phobia, to actually know so, the source of the dislike, the reason for the dislike, the reason for the fear. That's why Zeno is being added to phobia to modify the meaning of phobia. So the root word in this word is phobia. And phobia is a two-syllable word. And phobia is the name of a thing. It's a name of a feeling, a feeling of fear. That is phobia. That's the meaning of phobia. It's a noun. I have told you how do you stress a word that is a noun, a two-syllable word that is a noun. You stress the first syllable. You stress the first syllable. So the stress is going to be on for pho for xenophobia so the option that has the stress on pho is going to be the correct answer and the correct answer is option c phobia is a two syllable word xeno is just a prefix that has been added to phobia now i'll give you this one to solve because i now believe you've understood the lesson and you now understand how to stress a word that has two syllables, that the root word is two syllables, no matter the length of the word. I'm going to let you solve this one from 2009, 2009, question 96, because now I believe you've understood how to identify a root word and you can stress um, a word that the root word has two syllables. Now, let's look at question 96 from 2009. We have understandable. Understandable. 96 
in 2009, understandable. We have option A, understandable, with the um, stress on DER. Option B, we have the stress on ABLE. Option C, we have the stress on UN. And option D, we have the stress on STAND. Now, which one is the correct answer? You can pause the video here and try to solve the question by yourself. Can you identify the root word of the word understandable? The root word of the word understandable is understand. Understand. This is the root word of the word understandable. So this is a surface. It's established. I'm not going to stress this syllable. Now, what we are left with is understand. Understand. Is it a noun or a verb? Is it a noun or a verb? Is it a verb? understand under and stand under is a different word while stand is a different word and the two of them have come together to make a word and the word they've made is a verb so we are going to stress the second word we are not going to consider it syllable by syllable this time because they are two different words we have two different root words that come together to make a word so we're not going to consider it stress um syllable by syllable we are going to consider the different words under and stand have come together to make a word that is a verb so we're going to stress the second syllable stand second syllable stand and that makes option d the correct answer stand because the word understand is a verb so guys that's how we'll end today's lesson in my next video we're going to learn how to stress words that end in S I O N T I O N, um, C Y, words like democracy, all those other words that you see in your jump exam. In my next lesson, we are going to learn how to stress words based on their last syllables. Our next lesson is going to be very intense. So I need you guys to invite more people to join us here. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next lesson. Bye.